Right friends, welcome back to the first capsule of 30th week and this week the first capsule is on pellet guns and Kashmir. Previously in one of the capsules we deliberated on Kashmir on boil and this particular capsule is with regard to the pellet guns controversy and the issue of usage of pellet guns came to the forefront after 2010. All of you are well aware, in 2010 violence, more than 100 people lost their lives in Kashmir. Subsequently, government took a decision to go for non-lethal methods of crowd control. And you may ask a pertinent question, what is the difference between lethal methods and non-lethal methods? Lethal methods are when they are used, loss of human lives may take place. That means the direct shooting of the persons comes under the category of lethal weapons. And in view of loss of human lives in 2010 violence, government decided to go for non-lethal methods. And you may ask the examples of non-lethal methods. Please look into these slides. This uh, water cannons. This is one method of a crowd dispersal and this comes into the category of non-lethal. That means death of the persons will not occur, only crowd will be dispersed. The other method is pepper spray. Then please look into the slide, tear gas. This is commonly used for dispersing the crowds. Then sticky foam. This is used in foreign countries. Then sleep gas. Then taser guns, which temporarily incapacitates the person. So, these are all examples of non-lethal methods of crowd control. And after 2010, this pellet guns came to the forefront. And if you want more about these pellet guns, as I have already told you, they come into the category of non-lethal and they are one of the crowd control mechanisms and in some countries they are popular for hunting and pest control and basically these are intended to injure individuals and they do not result in death only injuries will be caused and these are effective over shorter distances of 300 to 400 meters less than 500 yards and the unfortunate aspect is if these are used nearer to the person, then these lead balls will penetrate through the soft tissue of the skin. Please look into this slide. These lead balls or you can say these pellets penetrated through the soft tissue of the skin and this resulted because of two reasons. One is they are being used very close to the individuals. And second important aspect is these are used by untrained persons as the Ministry of Home Affairs admitted. So because of the usage close to the person and at the same time because of usage by untrained persons, they penetrated through the softer tissues and several people lost their eyesight and this created lot of controversy in Kashmir. And as I have already told you, they are just like ball bearings and they are loaded with the lead. And if you look into the other details, once fired, they disperse in large numbers. And normally they are round and look like ball bearings. But in recent times, some irregular bodies were found which caused more damage. And one cartridge of a pellet gun contains a few hundred pellets. And once fired, the cartridge bursts and immediately hundreds of pellets are thrown from a single point. And as I have already told you, the recent problem is with regard to two, three reasons. One is these pellet guns were used by untrained people. They are used very close to the human beings. And third thing is they targeted the faces, but not the body, basically legs. These are the problems faced while using pellet guns. And government is now looking for alternatives to pellet guns as a crowd control mechanism. And unfortunately, the incidents, especially loss of sight 
of uh, several people in Jammu and Kashmir have alienated Kashmiri people to some extent and now government is thinking of alternatives and accordingly seven member expert panel headed by TVSN Prasad was uh, formulated to look into the possible alternatives. Right. So, this is all about pellet guns and Kashmir. Unfortunate aspect is loss of eyesight to several individuals. Right friends, with this let us conclude the capsule 1. Please do join for other capsules. Thank you.